Hello gorgeous girls and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you where I find my workout clothes. You keep requesting this video so I listen to you guys and today we're going to break it all down. So if you're new here, hello, I'm Tracy. I put up brand new fitness, wellness and lifestyle videos every single week. So if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and for everyone, make sure that you click on that little bell icon so you always know every single time I have a brand new video that goes live. All right, so let's dive into the workout clothes. So first I have to confess something, and it might come as a big surprise to you, but I actually, I don't wear workout clothes in my real life. Like what? What are you talking about? Let me break it down for you. So obviously I need to wear workout clothes. I've been a trainer for 20 years, you know, so it's like my business suit, right? Our workout clothes. But in my normal life, like I never get up and think like, oh, I'm just gonna put on leggings if I'm just like gonna go to the market or something like that. I think it's because I associate workout clothes with work. <laughs> um, but obviously I need to have good workout clothes and especially like in my Transformer Tribe and Total Body Transformation. So many of you have asked like, where'd you get that outfit or where'd you get this? So I'm gonna really just break it all down for you. So let's start with pants first. Um, my holy grail for years and years and years, and they're totally an investment, are Lululemon, okay? Um, so this is a pair of my Lululemon leggings. I don't remember, these are these are like high-waist ones, which I love, especially being pregnant now. It's like, just gives you that little extra bit of support. Now, I'm gonna give you pros and cons for everything. So the pros of Lululemon are, they last for ever like I can't stress that enough okay when you take care of them and I'll tell you how to take care of them um, so literally I think they're guaranteed for five years if you follow their requirements of how to take care of it. it's actually really easy um, I know that I've had some of their their pants and and tops for even longer like literally even longer and and remember I'm wearing these like almost every day, you know? So so that's really saying a lot. So they're super comfortable. They like kind of suck you in in all the right places. They're amazing. Um, but they are an investment. You know, I think that like their leggings are like close to $100. But when you think about it, cost per wear, and if you know you're gonna get years of wear out of it, it's much better than getting some janky, cheap old ones where it's like you can see your butt, you can see your underwear, you can see all the things that you're trying to keep hidden. Um, so Lululemon are amazing. So I have like, like every color, every style. This one lately is, is my favorite, which is that, you know, the high waist. You could roll it down if you want to, um, but that's that. Now, for some lower, so this is another pair of Lululemons that I've had. I mean, I've had these, I've probably had this pair of pants for like at least eight years, okay? So these are just like little camo. These are low rise, which is also nice now that I'm pregnant to, to kind of just have below the bump. Um, like a kind of capri length and just really cool, you know, and they just they're great I mean, I can't speak highly enough different kind of feeling these ones are um, They have like they're smoother, you know, they're they're regular fabric. It, it's a uh, more like a cottony feel Okay, so these are just two that I pull now And you know because I shoot for total body transformation we get there's there's new workouts every single month So obviously I'm conscious of like oh my god, I'm wearing that shirt again. I mean they just the tribe probably doesn't care, but I, I think about that. So I was always looking, I'm always looking for like, what are good quality, but maybe less expensive ones just to kind of mix up. So a great place to go is TJ Maxx or Marshall, something like that. Um, there's a brand that I found and it's called Yogalicious. So these pants are Yogalicious. I think I have um, maybe three pairs, maybe four of their pants and I love them. Now, do they have the that Lululemon has? No, they actually do not. Um, but they they pass the like you know bend over like can you see your thong test? You, you, they they're not see through, so always do that test. Um, and this company, I just I think that their their style, their quality for the price point, these are like about twenty dollars. So you know you can spend a hundred dollars, you could spend twenty dollars. So look. I have both, right? Because I, I want to have a variety. You you do you, baby boo, but these are fantastic. So Yogalicious is the brand. Um, I usually use a size small um, for them and they're fantastic. You know, they have cute little details like you see at the bottom here, it's like a little braided. So this is a great place. And I know I got these at TJ Maxx, okay? 
think this is another pair of Yogalicious that I love. And they're comfortable too. So here's a nice gray pair. I think I have a pink pair as well. Um, these also have that little sort of braided, you know, bottom. So it's cute, right? And these are $20, you know, and they look fantastic. They're comfortable. They're, you know, they last. I've had, I think I've had this pair for about a year. Um, so that's great. Now, another place where I, I do get a lot of things is Forever 21 has an active, you know, has an active wear line. Now, again, it's funny as I'm feeling, like you can feel the difference if you're really comparing these. So the, the quality of the material, it's not like Lululemon, okay? It's just not. Um, but again, you know, you can't see through them. Like you can't see my nails through here, right? So it's like your fog is not gonna stick through. Um, and it's a good option. Again, these are probably about like 15 or $20. Um, so it, you know, if I'm looking for like a fun color or I just wanna, you know, mix things up a little bit. And these are good, you know, again, they're not Lululemon, but they're pretty dang great. So I, I like them a lot. Um, so, you know, these obviously Forever 21. So go to places like TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They often have huge sections of active wear. Try things on. And then when you start seeing brands, like, like I found this Yogalicious brand, now I like specifically go there and I'll look like, oh, look at in my size and I'll just look, oh, are these Yogalicious? Just to save time, you know? Forever 21, you know, just get a bunch of stuff, have fun, try them on and, and see if they work for you. So let's talk about care of your workout clothes, okay? We'll get into tops and other things that you can do too. Do not dry your workout clothes. Let me explain. Wash them in the washer, but never put them in the dryer. Never, never put them in a dryer. Always let them air dry. That's gonna give you that long wear. Like I had a tank top from Lululemon that I swear I probably had for nearly 20 years. <laughs> like for real, like at least 15 years. Cause I remember a friend gave it to me. I don't even think I was 30 when she gave it to me. Like, that was a long time ago, I'm 44. And I remember like I probably got rid of it like a year ago. So think about it. I mean, that's that's kind of bananas. So, you know, just wash your clothes. You can wash them in the washer. You don't have to hand wash them, but just hang them up to air dry and it's gonna really keep them for the long term. Okay, so let's go into tops now. Now, I usually, you know, a lot of times I like, you know, if you're gonna just like invest in one thing, get like a really good quality, get like a pair of Lululemon black leggings, okay? Then now tops for Lululemon for me, because I have no girls, except for now being pregnant, um, But normally I have nothing, you know, I don't need support. So tank tops, it's great. Again, do you have to invest in Lululemon for tank tops? No. One of the cons of their tops for me is I find that they're very long. Um, their long torso. Now being pregnant, that's been great because they kind of go over the bump. They're not giving me that like sort of, you know, half top with the belly sticking out the bottom because that is not a look I really like, um, but they're great. And again, it's an investment. So here's one that I've had forever. You know, a lot of them, they have, you know, support inside, cups inside, but you know, good quality. So I just pulled two. This is also another sort of green camo. You've seen all of these somewhere. So here's like a little green camo one, super cute. This one's like a really, there's no support in it at all. So if you, if you have girls, you know, wear your sports bra underneath and it's nice and long. Again, these are investments, so they're gonna last for a long time. So another great thing that you can do is go to places like Forever 21, you know, where it's like you can, it, obviously you have to know your own body. I did pull some sports bras. If you need to wear a sports bra, we'll get into that in a second. But you know, you can wear like, who says that your workout clothes have to be real workout clothes? A lot of the stuff that I wear is actually not. So I do have some Lululemon, but another thing that I do a lot is I'll wear leotards. Now I know it's very like, you know, 80s inspired. This one is like unsnapped. Let's, let's snap the crotch before I show it to you because that would just be like really weird, right? Um, but I do wear a lot of leotards. Now obviously I'm a former dancer, so it just makes me feel comfortable. And now my chest is just too large to fit into these. <laughs> it actually is it's kind of funny. Like I just feel like I'm filling out. But this is a leotard that I got from Forever 21. It was probably like 10 bucks, okay? Um, again, if you need to wear a sports bra or have support underneath it, great. Maybe you need a different style, but so cute, so comfortable, you know, great. And I think that this one I found in sort of like their underwear department. Um, and I freaking love this and I can't wait to be wearing that again. Um, here is like this so adorable. I don't know why all of the <laughs> crotches are unsnapped. Sorry. It's probably because like, I don't know, 
fit into anything anymore, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> um, that's what happens when you're eight months pregnant. So this is a cute, like this is little cherries. Like how cute is this? It's cotton. Again, you could wear a black bra underneath it, a black sports bra if you needed to, but it's absolutely adorable, right? It's got this like little detail on the back, super cute. I wear this in real life and I wear this for workout. Like, so my point is your workout clothes do not have to be real workout clothes. We've got more, don't worry. Here's a red leotard. Okay, this just makes it really easy, comfortable, you know. This one, I don't know, I, I just like this. And I'm also just looking for variety, right? Here's like a crazy, this one I like a lot because it's very like 80s inspired. You have to be careful with this one. Okay, so again, this is pretty see-through, right? So I would always wear just like nipple covers or something like that underneath it. Or you, you could wear a black bra, like big deal. You know, there's kind of like an edgy 80s look to this. Super cute, this was from Forever 21 also. You see, I have a lot, I have a lot, a lot of tops that I work out in that are from Forever 21. This is a proper leotard. Now I did pin this. Um, you see, I kind of just ruched it and pinned it. Um, because it was like more of like a circle neck, which just for me, like having a flat chest, it doesn't look great, it makes me look like a little girl. So I always tend to go more for a V-neck. So this is just a plain old leotard, $20 from Forever 21. Now, maybe you live in another country and you don't have Forever 21 or, you know, my point is like, look, go into those like kind of fast fashion um, stores that are more, you know, geared to, let's be honest, like teens, right? Or young 20s. And just look for tops, look for things that's like, okay, if you can move in it. Because, you know, it's, again, sports bra will get there in a second, I have a whole pile of them, but you don't have to invest a gazillion dollars in them. And I really don't. Okay, so let's get into sports bras. So this is one that's not supportive, but oh my gosh, this has been a godsend for me being pregnant, just needing a little extra support because a lot of my tops are, you know, now that there's something to put in them, they're quite low. So this, I love this top. This is like just a knit, like, bralette, I guess, and I got this from Forever 21 a million years ago. I can't really link a lot of this stuff because it's not new, um, but this is adorable. It looks great on its own if you're comfortable enough, but if you're not, like, underneath a gray tank top or a black tank top and letting it stick out, it's so freaking cute. So that's super cute. Um, this one, oh, this was from Fabletics. Um, okay, so I'm gonna be really honest. I don't love Fabletics, I only have one pair of their leggings and I don't love them. I just, for me, they're not very comfortable, just on my body, but I do love this top. This is a sports bra, I love the color of it. Um, it's super comfortable. I love that it's seamless, so I'm not hating on Fabletics. It actually would look cute underneath this, to be honest, a nice color palette. Um, but this is a great sports bra, you know, and again, you can put this underneath like any of these leotards or any tank tops, whatever you wish. Um, then I have, again, others that I've gotten at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or wherever you live, those kind of like discount stores, they often have huge activewear selections. So this is a sports product, a little bit longer, which I like, you know, so it's not just like right underneath, but it gives you just a little bit more length. Um, and this has a cute detail. You see how it has that little mesh, right? Again, this probably wasn't more than like 20 bucks. There's probably somewhere between like 12 and $20. So super inexpensive. And for me, because this is part of my job, right? Um, I'm always looking for like, oh, I just need some new things, especially when I'm shooting for Total Body Transformation. There's so much content that I need. So, you know, this is from Gaiam. You know, they have the yoga mats and all that. So this is, it's really, really nice. It has, um, you know, support inside and like the pads so that you don't have to worry about like headlights. And then these are my two favorite sports bras. And I know I also got these at like TJ Maxx. Um, I have them, I like them so much, although, <laughs> does this ever happen to you? Like the cups, so right now, I'm not gonna fix it right now, but both of the cups are in one, one boo. I'm not gonna fix it, but I think it's kind of funny. So this is, what brand is this? I don't even know. I don't know what brand this is. But my point is, um, I've worn this in many videos. I have this blue one, so like bright, you know, nice color like this. And then I have this one. Again, look, I, you know, I'm about to have a baby. How I'm back, you know, I, I will be back in my sports bras again, but it's gonna take me some time before I'm comfortable just wearing like a straight up sports bra and not a tank top over it, of course. Um, so these can be layered underneath, which I totally do. They look great. I love the colors. Um, I love that there's like this detail. And again, these are super inexpensive. So the, the moral of this story is, 
you know, you don't have to go to a specialty store or really invest a gazillion dollars in order to get some really cute, fun activewear. Now, like I said, I personally don't love wearing activewear. You know what I mean? And maybe I'll feel different when when my baby's here and like, you know, I'm taking her to classes and it's like, oh, I'm gonna work out so I'm just wearing it. Like, I get it, life is life, like you do you. And it's important to have really cute activewear, but there's so much out there that's so premium. It's, it's kind of, I mean, this is part of my job. I literally consider like activewear is, is a business expense for me. I'm not gonna spend like $300 on an activewear outfit. It's just not, like, I just think that's silly. I'd rather spend that on a purse, to be quite honest, or like regular clothes. Um, so, you don't have to do that. However, when we do have a cute outfit on, we're more apt, like, we, it just ups our confidence. So don't wear like, you know, your husband's t-shirts and like your biggest baggy sweats, you know, like, but you don't have to spend a gazillion dollars, you know, like you can get a really cute activewear outfit for like $40, you know, $20 leggings and like a $20 tank top or a leotard or whatever your style is, maybe $60 you're throwing in a sports bra. So do look at places like that. Sneakers. Um, I, I also, I never wear sneakers unless I'm exercising. It's just not my style. And I know, I love the look, like, you know, I follow like fashion and I love that look of like a, a cute white sneak with like a dress. I guess it's because I'm five foot two. It just, it, it's not me. I don't feel comfortable that way. So I only wear sneakers when working out. I even remember being in high school and, um, one day I was just like exhausted and I showed up in like sweatpants and sneakers and my friends were like, who are you? Like, we've never seen you like that. And I was like, I, I didn't sleep at all last night. So that's, you know, but I'm still the same way. I really only wear sneakers if I'm gonna, if I'm going to work out or like, you know, maybe like a coffee run when I'm gonna be working out later. But my favorite, favorite brand are the Adidas Ultra Boost. So I have these in green and I have them in white. For me, you know, they're the most comfortable. They work for all of the workouts that we have inside of Total Body Transformation. So whether we're doing dance, whether we're doing um, hit workouts, low impact, you know, jumping on the rebounder, um, you know, just toning work. I just feel like they are the best shoe. I love them. This is not sponsored by them. So they're great. They're super cute. Like they're sneakers that I can like, you know, really stand behind and, and I love wearing them. So I have them in just like a straight white and then I have them in this awesome olive green, which I also love um, because I don't like girly colored sneakers. So I know, I know I've talked about these before, but just wanted to share that. So that's what I've got for you. I really hope this helped, you know? Um, I get this question legit all the time and I'm like, it's probably not the answer you think. Like I don't have like the go-to brand, you know? It's, it's really about, you know, picking and choosing and thinking outside of the box. So I hope that this helped you. I also have something really awesome for you. So here's the deal, you know, just like with workout clothes, a mistake that we think is like, oh, if it's not high end or if it's not an athletic brand, we shouldn't do it. There are also fitness mistakes that you might be making that you don't even know that you're making. So link down below in the description box and I'll also put it up here in the eye you can get my free cheat sheet. You know, there are mistakes that women make when it comes to fitness, and the worst part is they don't even know that they're making them. So I hope that you get that. It's totally free, and it will really debunk some of these myths and mistakes that you're probably making. So definitely check that out and grab yours today. Um, that's what I've got for you. You are awesome. Thank you for asking this question. Please do leave me a comment down below. It really does help to support my channel, and I'll see you next time.